Okay, now that I have an appropriate graph. So if I plug in zero, I get zero. And then if I plug in one, I get one. If I plug in two, I get two, three, three, and so on. But everything from zero to one that I plug in for x will return a zero. So for example, if I take the floor function of 0 0.5, that's 0. Anything from 1 to 2 gives me back a 1. From 2 to 3, I get 2 as my output, and from 3 to 4, I get 3, and so on. So I see this kind of stair-step pattern. And what you can also see from this function is that my domain is all real numbers, but my range is only integers. Okay, the ceiling function is similar. But with the ceiling function, There we go. When I plug in a number, so say I plug in 6.5, the ceiling function gives me back the closest integer that is above 6.5. So that would be 7. If I plugged in 3.2, the ceiling function gives me 4. If I plug in negative 2.1, the ceiling function gives me, or let's do this, negative 2.6. The ceiling function gives me negative 2. So I can create another graph. In this, again, I see that I get z the point 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. 3, 3, 4, 4. But that now, every number from 0 to 1 will give me 1 as its answer, such as plugging in 0 0.5. Every number from 1 to 2 gives me 2. From 2 to 3 gives me 3. And from 3 to 4 gives me 4. So I see another stair step pattern, but this one's a little bit different. The last kind of function we want to look at is a piecewise defined function. And unlike the functions above, where you can memorize the parent function, and do make sure that you memorize all these parent functions x squared, x cubed. 1 over x squared, 1 over x cubed, x to the 1 half, x to the 1 third, absolute value, floor, and ceiling. With piecewise, what we're doing is we're actually piecing together the functions that we know. Okay, so our piecewise function tells us that whenever x is less than or equal to 0, we graph the graph for x squared. So we get the normal x squared parabola, but only up until x equals 0. Then, whenever x is greater than 0, we get the graph y equals x which is just a straight line that goes up like that. And that is our piecewise function.